Jeffrey with Howell's Carpet Cleaning on this uh, beautiful morning out here in Gladstone, Oregon. I will take you through a quick walkthrough on our job that we got here today. Um, pretty much a refresher, but we got some traffic lane patterns here in the main drag. Um, same with the hallway. Got a bedroom here that we're going to hit up. And the front room area as well. So, what we're going to do, we're going to do a thorough pre-vacuum to get as much of this dirt out of here as possible. Then we're going to use our uh, cylindrical brush machine that we've got out here and our pre-spray to uh, thoroughly uh, <clears throat> groom that into the carpeting. Get all these spots and stuff out. Um, we'll then take a look to see how much of this uh, darkening of this nasty stuff here in this hallway is still left behind. And then uh, I will elect whether or not to hot water extract this. And we'd probably end up using like the Rotovac power wand or something just because it's a little bit more aggressive and um, seems to do a little bit better than just a typical uh, wand running across the carpeting here. Um, I will keep you up to date as we go along here. I uh, hope you enjoy today's video. Okay, and we just finished up our uh, pre-vacuum here. Uh, I want to show you our bag of debris that we were able to extract out of these carpeting. Um, probably a good 25-35% full or more. I mean, because technically you're only supposed to fill it up to that black line and it's probably about to here right now. Uh, that's closer to 45-50%. Alright, so I can't stress enough the importance of a good pre-vacuum. Um, I've seen all kinds of demos on the internet, including um, proactivists for uh, rug doctors of all things. Um, they go into a place and they're like, well, if the carpets are adequately vacuumed and they're good to go. And then they start working. Well, the problem with that is most of your consumers, you know, retail at home, they don't have very strong vacuums or the vacuums are just designed. The vacuums are just designed for surface cleaning. And what I mean by surface cleaning is that they pick up stuff off the surface of the carpeting just fine. But when it comes to actually pulling stuff out of the backing of the carpeting, which is what I'm focusing on, and there's the proof of it right there, um, your typical household vacuum just isn't up to snuff for the job. So, um, Kirby, as expensive as they are, um, I think that they make a great professional addition to any carpet cleaner's set of tools because of this uh, raising and lowering of the vacuum brushes and that beater bar is just capable of picking up an immense amount of debris that's in there. In fact, this traffic area here um, was you know, probably loaded with dirt. Um, you can still see the browning, but um, that is either... You know, we're going to play around with that with our encapsulation solution to see what actually happens there. So I kind of want to recap on uh, my realization of the importance of vacuuming. It's actually doing a bunch of cleaning at the coast and um, notice a whole lot of dark spots, traffic lane areas. And when I pulled out the vacuum, I noticed that it, most of it was just sand that came right out of the carpeting. So what's the point of hot water extracting sand if you have a powerful vacuum that can just pull it right up anyways? So, that is what I began doing. And now we are going to go ahead and pre-spray everything and scrub it in with our cylindrical brush machine. I'll let it dwell there a few minutes and uh, I'll go ahead and go through and give you show you what results we've got here. Okay, before we get going with our pre-spray here, um, I've got a little bit extra left over from the other day. I was doing some uh, upholstery cleaning and actually boost up the uh, 
the pH a little bit on the the citrus cleaner, which I th think will work really good here on these traffic lane areas. We'll give it a shot and see what happens. Um, another thing I want to point out are these furniture movers. Um, absolutely excellent product. Um, you can find them at Walmart or Home Depot rather. Walmart probably has them too. But you, you just stick them under the feet of heavy objects such as dressers, beds, you can put them under chairs, sofas, anything. And they literally allow you to easily and effortlessly slide beds around on the carpeting or anything around on the carpeting with just you know one person so uh, I use them all the time I highly recommend them and I hope that you might be able to find them useful all right I've got the uh, cylindrical brush machine or counter rotating brush machine up and ready to go I got the collection um, reservoirs connected on there so that um, as the, the brushes groom the carpeting, it will pick up any debris that's down there and um, throw them into there. And we will dispose of that later on. So uh, be back here in just a moment. Okay, we've done a little bit of encapsulation. Um, obviously here we have not encapsulated yet because we need to make up some more pre-spray before we go there. But as you can see here, it did a uh, pretty good job of removing everything. However, you can still see lightly uh, some of that that traffic area, even though it's immensely better than what it is. It's still visible here. You know, and with traffic line areas, a lot of times it's hard to say if it's actual damage, if it's lighting what not it you know it could be anything but what we're gonna do is we're gonna break out some heavy guns here in a little bit and bring in the uh, rotovac extraction wand and we are gonna hit this area pretty good just to uh, make these traffic areas disappear and obviously in the front room area which we don't have enough pre-spray yet but we're gonna get to that in a moment um, no traffic areas in there, so that's going to clean up nicely with just our encapsulation here. So, um, the idea here, um, use the encapsulation uh, as much as possible, and then um, resort to more drastic measures um, when needed, and that way the carpeting um, looks extremely nice, clean, um, free of dirt, Yet at the same time, it is very uh, convenient for the customer because they can begin, you know, putting their stuff back on the carpets almost immediately because this solution that I'm using here dries within about 45 minutes or so. Especially with the door open or a window open, you get this cross breeze going through and it dries almost immediately. So, uh keep you posted as we go along one step at a time okay we've just completed our um, encapsulation with the cylindrical brush machine as we walk through the uh, traffic areas actually look really good in fact I would say that 95 percent of your carpet cleaners out there would quit right here if they were able to achieve this uh, status but uh, we're not a typical carpet cleaning company so uh, we are actually going to go up and beyond and do a bit more here. Um, still I'm not too happy with that. So maybe somebody else would actually do better. But who knows. Anyways, um, I'm going to hook up the truck and we're going to bring our hot water extraction in here in just a moment and finish this thing off. Okay, we've completed our uh, encapsulation with this and the cylindrical brush machine. Taking these reservoir containers off just to kind of show you, you know, what we were able to collect in the carpeting. Um, it was almost a half a bag, Kirby bag of debris, plus what we collected in there. So as you can see, uh, it's a pretty thorough job. Okay, and we will go back inside and I'll do a quick show before we uh, break out 
the hot water extraction. Okay, I've introduced this extraction wand a couple of times in the past in previous videos, but for those who have not uh, seen it yet, this is the uh, Rotovac. This is actually the original one, not the 360. Um, it's got two counter rotating heads on it with injection sprayers and uh, suction, suction slots there that you see. So um, there's a bit of sand because uh, we just come from a, another job where, you know, there's sand and pretty much all carpeting but it kind of accumulates up there but uh, uh the, those those two counter rotating heads there they spin on the the carpeting um creates a bit of agitation because of those uh suction jets are actually kind of scrubbing on the carpeting um working that solution scrubbing out uh grease spots dirt and all that good stuff and pulling right out of the carpeting um, it is powered. It's an electrical piece of equipment, um, so it's quite a bit more thorough than a typical extraction. Here we go. Alright, we just rotovacked the uh, traffic lane area. Um, looks much better than what it was, and we're going to go ahead and take what's left of our uh, carpet protection and go ahead and protect at least the main walk areas and then I will also treat as much of this area here as possible with any remaining that I've got left. Um, we'll do one final walkthrough and then we will be done. Okay, one last walkthrough here um, before we take off. Um, we hot water extracted, steam cleaned, whatever, rotovac the hallways. Um, and we also went ahead and put a carpet protection on there and raked it all out with our carpet rake. Um, I believe this will all clear away because it's just wet really that you're seeing right now. And as well as irreversible wear that's on the carpeting. I really wish that there was a way to completely 100% eliminate it but I haven't ran across that yet. <clears throat> Hallway here looks good. Back bedroom. And we've got the front room here looking good. And we got all the little sp spots and food stuff that was out along the, the couch there. So, that's Howell's carpet cleaning. A job this size typically takes, oh, I would say couple hours um, um, there are some things that can be done to shave some time such as pre-mixing our pre-spray solutions at the shop before we leave however I like mixing them um, customly out on the job for you know a specific job rather than just having a bunch of solution that you're kind of doing a, a one-size-fits-all you know solution for everything I uh, will boost it when it needs boosting I will you know change my ingredients based upon what is actually needed to accomplish the job uh, some people would say that the American dream is no more but what I would say to that is that there is plenty of American dream left to be had as long as you're willing to work for it and that's how it's carpet cleaning hope you enjoyed this